and today we are making triple boxes. You're probably like, what on earth is a triple box? I've never heard of such thing. Well, a triple box is something that I have come up all on my own. It is either a feed box where you can put food and water in, a tack box, or a pet bed. So here is the craft supplies you will need. Bottle caps, scissors, and material, a hot glue gun, and for my younger horse fans, make sure you always ask an adult to use a hot glue gun. And of course, hot glue sticks, and some ribbon of your color choice. So to start off here, you're gonna want two bottle caps. Now I would suggest them to be pretty much the exact same size, or it won't work very well because then like this happens, it clearly won't work. And now it really doesn't matter what color your bottle caps are because you won't be able to see it once we're done. So to start off here, you wanna go ahead and grab a strip of material and now it can be a different color or the same color, it doesn't matter. And now you just wanna go ahead and hot glue it on the top of your bottle cap. Number one, make sure that your bottle cap is a good type of bottle cap or that your hot glue gun is on low or medium. Otherwise, your hot glue gun could melt your bottle cap. And second of all, make sure you're aware of what type of material you're using because sometimes the hot glue gun can or the hot glue can go through your material. So now that your material is glued onto your bottle cap, um, another thing is is that I took a strip of material that is about five inches long. Now it doesn't have to be this long, and it's about um, one and a half inches wide, and clearly you would make it thinner or wider depending on what type of bottle cap you're using. Since I'm using small ones, I went with a smaller strip. So now that you have glued this on, you wanna go ahead and take a corner of material. So now you wanna take your corner or square of material and go ahead and glue it on top of your strip of material. Just make sure that it has a good enough access to at least make it about halfway or more above your bottle cap. Otherwise, it just won't turn out very well. Another thing is, is that when you cut the little notches, make sure that you are aware of where your strip of material is and you want to cut along the edges of that. So now that you have all your little notches put in, go ahead and add a little glue and fold it over. And now when you do the strip of ribbon, just I would add a little glue and then I would pull it down kind of hard and then I'll go ahead and glue this. That's just my personal opinion, but you can do it however you like. So now your bottle cap should look something like this. Now go ahead and take a piece of material that's slightly bigger or larger, and then you wanna go ahead and put some glue inside the bottle cap and very carefully just go ahead and push down and glue it. And then I will go along, just move the material gently out of your way, add some glue, and go along and then once that is done I'm going to gently go ahead and cut some more notches so once again go ahead and now just glue these down and there you go once again always make sure to be careful of your strip of material so now your bottle cap should look something like this you didn't need to mess with the strip of material now you're going to need your other bottle cap go ahead and just place it on top then just add a little bit of glue right there. Go ahead, fold your material up. Just gently pull it. You want to leave a little bit of slack so then it can open and close. Then go ahead and put some glue on top of there. So now it should look something like this. Now just go ahead and cut off the rest of your strip of material. Now it should look something like this. Go ahead and take another square or corner piece of material and glue it on top. Then repeat all the other steps we did on the other side. Once again, just be careful of the strip of material in between and then your triple box is almost done. Alright, so now that you have both sides of your triple box completed, you know, this is completely optional, but I'm going to go ahead and add some ribbon. I'm using yellow. And you're just gonna go ahead and just go carefully around the edge. And I just love to do this because I think it just makes my triple box look so pretty. And now at the end right here, you can either choose to go over or just choose to go halfway because my friend said that she likes it when it goes all the way across. And another one said that she only likes it when it goes a little ways. So you can completely choose if you want to do 
ribbon at all, but I just think it looks so pretty. So now your triple box is all done. Now I did add ribbon all the way around it, so I will show you what the difference is. So this is what I consider halfway is where I leave a gap at the back and it will just open up. And this is all the way where at the back it just completely goes all the way around. There's really no complete difference besides that it didn't go all the way or halfway. And now if you want this to be for a pet, I would do larger bottle caps because it doesn't fit a pet very well because this is a, I use small bottle caps. But yeah, it'll still probably work for maybe a kitten or a puppy. But I love, love, love these triple boxes. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Riddle time! Who was paying close enough attention to Champion here in the background? What tack set was he originally wearing in the beginning of this video? Was he wearing A, a white and black set, B, a brown and blue one, or C, an orange and black one? If you can, put your answer below in the comments.